Good morning, and welcome to another ironic introduction to another video. Today, I'm going to go over some news um, in Marvel Contest of Champions. As always, I will keep a uh, link to the forum in the description below if you would rather read rather than listen, as well as I will include a timestamp jumping to my thoughts uh, and skipping me reading this forum if, you know, again, you'd rather read rather than listen. Uh, but as I know some of the viewers I have don't read forum posts and they don't pay attention to news I thought I would go over this awesome post really quick and maybe you just maybe like the sound of my voice I don't but maybe you do <laughs> That said it is this just in spider people go berserk in July Summoners you're reading it here first in this bugle exclusive spider people rampaging through the battle realm attacking innocent people and causing chaos in our fair corner of the multiverse what is causing these so-called heroes these masked menacing vigilantes to attack everyone no one knows and who is on the case two more masked vigilantes that mouthy murk deadpool and new york's most aberrant criminal spider-man does that sound like a good plan to you Trusting the original spider person to find out the truth and save his fellow masked menaces? Watch the destruction ensue in July's event quest, Phantasmagoria. But they can't do it alone. Of course, Deadpool and Spider-Man need some assistance in the heroic quest, so they've brought along two new allies that along also hide behind a mask or a dome. What do they have to hide? I, I'm sorry, I just gotta comment. This is, this is, this should be a sin. I want, I would like to personally ask for compensation for having to read that out loud. Um, sorry, continuing on. Uh, Spider-Man's stealth suit is a new breed of Spider-Person. He slyly swings around his foes with a new suit full of high-tech gadgets. He's also a smart one, choosing his gadgets carefully to counter his next foe. Uh, Mysterio is a mystery wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in an enigma, hiding behind a fishbowl. He summons clones, vanishes, and fires mystical beams at whatever foe stands in his way. Class Trip well, it must be a slow news day. We've just gotten word that another Spider-Man is going abroad with a group of student kids, a uh, group of school kids, but Nick Fury has other plans for him besides sightseeing. Earn shield markers by completing our new special objectives and from the shield marker seven day login calendar. Use them in the souvenir shop to purchase permission slips to gain entry in the new Spider-Man Clash Trip quest. You'll be putting the full force of a Spider-Verse to test in these quests. This is a, in a similar format to the Gwenpool Goes to the Movie event, but with different rewards. The 98 day summoner appreciation calendar kicks off. On July 1st, the first ever multi-month login calendar is coming to the contest. This special calendar contains rewards like tier 4 basic and class catalysts, tier 2 alpha catalysts, 11,000 5 star crystal shards, and a 5 star awakening gem. Make sure that you check into the contest every day to claim all of these valuable rewards. If you can't log in every day, don't worry. The rarest rewards have been spread throughout the calendar and also include 7 grace days. This means that you'll have 105 days to collect on the 98 day calendar, which for sure the awakening gem will be day number 98. Uh, but that's not all. Stay tuned for more information on more summoner appreciation events planned throughout the summer. Uh, so here I will stick a timestamp as I kind of just scroll back through and talk uh, because I kind of have some comments beyond just like commenting on the uh, humor of this. Uh, you know, I believe that the Deadpool interaction here is mostly just going to be a uh, just a like flavor thing the same way like Ant-Man was flavor in the Fantastic Four event we just had uh, as well as the Thing. Uh, we already knew about Mysterio and Spider-Man's stealth suit just because of data, data mining. Uh, so, like, as a constructive criticism to the developers, I'd really like for them to take control back of marketing and advertising here. Because um, it's really, it, I understand, it's incredibly challenging to outpace data miners. But the way to outpace the data miners is, uh, you know, what, they've all, what they're already doing, which is segmented updates. Um, but then release the information when you put it into the game before it's released in game um, and do it like a sneak peek right so the data miners will still data mine it and take everything and release everything in full swing uh, but what you can do is when you go to add these two characters into the game you can say sneak peek two new champions will be approaching the contest in July you know and we would have gotten that two weeks and would have been official kabam thing and then kabam uh, and th the game could have taken a hold of that that marketing and really taken advantage of it instead of the data mining kind of ruining the hype now because like this is way less hyped for a lot of people just because that data mining already existed 
Um, I'm still super hyped for these two champions. I just think that it would have been nice if the developers had control of it instead of the players. Um, and this is just a personal thing, but I actually dislike data mining. Um, I will, I, you'll never see me post a video about data mined results, post a video about all of that jazz. Uh, just because one it can be very misleading because you don't get exact numbers Two, it's not always set in stone So sometimes you get a data mine and then it proves to be false like a lot of developers will stick false uh, False eggs false goose eggs into their develop just to just to screw with people um, who are data mining and three I just think that it's unnecessary for the game um, There is this like huge push to be first and faster and faster and get information much more quickly I just don't think it's necessary now that doesn't mean data mining is a bad thing I personally just don't care for it um, but that doesn't make it a bad thing and for a lot of people they really like it like some people who knew about Spider-Man Stealth Suit way in advance this is really hype for them and so they've been riding that hype train for three weeks uh, and so for people like that you know it's really great uh, I just that's my thought as far as that information goes uh, these class trips I hope pan out really well I went and I looked up the Gwenpool goes to the movies event because this was before my time um, and when they say similar format, like the first comment I think people co comment about is like the power rating. And uh, I think to one extent it would be cool if the power rating is low just because of what I'll talk about later. Uh, like as far as like pushing new players into the game here. Um, but I would also kind of like to see it be a higher power rating just to make it, you know, the whole point of having a, an epic difficulty is it's supposed to be difficult and satisfying to clear like the rewards are always nice and the rewards are a huge part of any event but i think what makes events fun is the challenge in completing them and then having a justifiable reward right like the harder the event the better the reward kind of a thing uh i do want to comment on this seven day login calendar i bet this is because the coral objectives like people probably really 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 liked the 10 coral objectives i personally really 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 liked coral objectives um you'll find that most players like having a set goal a set milestone they can push to with a guaranteed reward um and you know the less rng in the game the better that way um, but unfortunately in free-to-play you do have to have some form of RNG just to kind of be a part of the game uh, But hopefully this goes fairly well uh, And then this Gwenpool goes to the movie event similarity um, It looks like a good event uh, You know, it's a lot to talk about so if you if you care just feel free to just like do Gwenpool goes to the movies event MCOC uh, and you'll get plenty of people watching um, I'm actually gonna go watch a lot of those just because it's interesting content um, and it's fun to watch and gives me more videos uh, so I recommend you do that if you have the spare time uh, and then the major point I'm actually going to stick a second timestamp here because this is like my whole reason for making this video because uh, I'm sure a lot of there's already videos on this that I haven't seen yet um, but I, I, I'm sure people already cover most of the basic information but the one thing that like if I can impart and anybody actually listens to is this 98 day summoner appreciation calendar this is the time to convince your friends to play Marvel Contest of Champions there's going to be 98 days of hype in this calendar and at the end of the 98 days you're gonna have you know at least one five star right one five star awakening gem so that's gonna be so valuable in the long run like even like two like this says catalysts right so even two tier two alpha catalysts is gonna put you halfway to getting a uh, rank four five star and these tier four basic and class catalyst means you'll be able to rank rank up your five star if it's a good one like this is a really good time to say hey part of the issue with the game is if you look at the game in the form of expansions right like original content and then expansion is the uncollected expansion is cavalier it's really tough as a new player coming in to meet those milestones and catch up um, this is a really good way to catch up and still like do it over a very long period of time um, and I do get the sense that this 98 day is probably because uh, this summer summer is a really long downtime for games um so just convince your friend like convince your friends that are like maybe thinking about this game or you know might have some small interest just convince them hey just log in every day you know you don't have to play but just log in every day get this reward and then one day in the future if you're like hey dude i do want to play 
you know then then they have these solid rewards and to be honest like it's it's so much better that like for your standard casual player just having this five star awakening gem and this guaranteed five star is going to be so much more valuable than what they would get out of the beginner and intermediate brackets in the arena now hardcore players are going to get way more out of the beginner and intermediate brackets but i know plenty of people who in their first 60 days they hardly ever touch arena because they have so much energy from the like constant refilling from levels and you know they're only playing an hour a day or so and so you know this is way more valuable so logging in for 98 days and having this you know this is a really really good time to push new players into the game uh, seven grace days is kind of convenient i imagine like the five star awakening gem i know i said earlier oh that'll be the last day i imagine this will probably be day like 95 uh, so you'll have like a 10 day grace period specifically on the five star awakening gem uh i'm personally hoping that uh they figure out a way to handle this for new players who join halfway through the summoner appreciation event like it would really 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 suck to lose out on a five star awakening gem crystal because you joined in on the calendar late like maybe uh like what i would really 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 like to see is uh that the calendar could start on july 1st but that the calendar lasts for 98 days and triggers once you've logged in during this 98 day period so like the ideal would be someone who joins in on the 97th day would have access to this calendar just to feel not left out and it really opens up a long window i doubt that's what it will be but i think that from a developer perspective you don't want players jumping in halfway through the summer appreciation or summoner appreciation calendar to feel like they're missing out on something that all the other players are getting and that's a really good solution around that uh, that said i'll post an update when I, we have more information uh, and this video has already been longer than it should be and i will talk to you later